artificially cultivated mushrooms grow best in dark cellars, where the temperature is low and even. Like to grow some yourself? Well, here's how. First of all, with the aid of a laboratory, you must choose a good strain of spawn. The microscope will be the best judge of that. First, spores are obtained from fully ripe mushrooms and look like brown dust particles. In order to speed germination, they are placed in a dish of special preparation known as agar agar, which is a byproduct of seaweed. Germination takes a week. One germinated dish is taken out as the newly inoculated one goes in. The next step is to prepare food which will nourish the spore. Whole grain is used as it contains most of the elements necessary for growth. A nutrient solution is added to the grain and the bottles plugged with cotton wool. The whole operation is treated scientifically with careful sterilization. Sterilization to kill the germ grain and any possible bacteria is done in pressure cookers. 10 pounds of steam pressure for one hour. Meanwhile, the spores are now mature covered with fine cotton-like threads, which are the spawn of the mushroom. These are then carefully inserted into the sterilized bottles of food in which the mushrooms are to form and grow. For four weeks, the bottles remain up there on the shelf. By then, the young plants are big enough to be removed and transplanted into beds. When harvested, mushrooms are carefully pulled with the stems intact. Pieces left in the bed will contaminate future crops. The cultivated mushrooms look more evenly formed and wholesome than the natural growth. If you've learned all these lessons, you'll get three or four pounds for each square foot. Or would you rather pick yours in the paddock?